Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Pipe Bomb Sports Show Super Bowl Edition, our first annual. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. We started here, NFL Draft, and now we end Super Bowl Sunday. With me tonight is Vinny Lasati, Jimmy Dugan, and Ryan Salerno. I am Nelson Sirocco, one of your co-hosts as well. And gentlemen, we're going to start off real tight. Vin, what does the word Super Bowl Sunday mean to you? Point blank. The greatest day in the world for any sports fan. Really? The greatest day in the world. <laughs> Dudes, what did you I, take? I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. I mean, you party out with your friends, you eat, you drink, watch the game. Probably the best game of the year. Always, you know, excitement. It's just, it's great. It yeah. really is great. Ryan, what do you what think? Two Bowl Sunday. I mean. just a great time to get together with everybody and, you know, hang out for a few hours. Yeah, I, Ryan, thanks for coming on the show with us. Uh, Super Bowl edition. Glad to have you. Yep. And, you know, when I think of Super Bowl Sunday, I think of a lot of money is going to get spent this year, either on oh, food yeah. or beer or Super Bowl boxes. Like, the whole check goes wild. I mean, thank God. They say it's the second biggest party day of the year. Wow. <laughs> I'm a teacher. Thank God this lands on the first. You know, I get paid the 30th. I'm happy, you know, because that, that whole paycheck's gone. I'm but just going to be very honest with you. Then yeah, you have to go to work on yeah, Monday. Yeah, we'll see how that works on Monday. We'll see. You know, that's like a guaranteed fact over there. But, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, it's just... 6.30 can't come, you know, soon enough, I feel like. You wake up. I'm up at 8 o'clock in the morning that day. I know I have a tradition on Super Bowl Sunday. I wake up. I get my newspaper. I go get a bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm probably going to go to Burger Time at Morris Park. Uncle Rock, I got you. I'm going to read my paper. I'm just going to think over the game. But Pipe Bomb Show tonight, we're prepared earlier. We're making our picks tonight on Wednesday. So there's none of that for me, but I'm still going to read the newspaper. So we're going to get to our picks. We're going to get to our predictions. And we're going to do uh, some prop bets. You know, the the wild wagers that you can bet on Vegas that all you gamblers out there love to do. I mean, what's the safety hit two years in a row? Will there be a safety in, row, in the yes. game? How Three crazy? Years Three years in a row. Three years in a row will the safety hit at plus 800. $10 won you, $80, 100 won that's insane. That is insane. I mean, crazy stuff like this happens. I mean, you see all the time with the boxes, 7-0. You think I have great numbers, and then the safety turns it into 9 or 5. Yep. It, I mean, it's really it's really crazy. So I like to go around the panel and say, what's your favorite Super Bowl moment? Watching it, or even if you went to the game, or your first ever Super Bowl you watched. Like, I remember my Super Bowl, my first ever Super Bowl I watched was Steelers Cowboys. My father was a Steelers fan, and I watched Neil, Don Neil Donald just choking away in the Cowboys. Well, I didn't know what was going on, but uh, I would say favorite Super Bowl mo moment, of course. I'm a, I'm a Bucks fan. 0-2 was definitely uh, my favorite moment, uh, seeing my team win. It was the uh, first championship, only championship for us. I know I had a math regents the next day, and I was like, I didn't even study for it. I wanted to get a 66 on my math regents. Got a four-point question right. So it just made it that much better, and I, it, I, was in, I was in pure celebration. A team that I didn't think could ever win the Super Bowl. You know, being a, a fan for four years, and then we won the Super Bowl. I was so happy. Vin, what's your favorite Super Bowl moment? My favorite has to be, I mean, probably the, when the Giants beat the Patriots. I'm not a Giant fan, but that was some game. 17-point underdogs win the game outright off that Tyree catch was just incredible in, in my eyes. I think that was incredible. <laughs> what about you, Duke? Well, I'm glad you said that. But, um, <laughs> no, honestly, I, I, I couldn't agree. I, I love the David Tyree catch, the excitement, catching on the helmet, then you got plexiglass burst in the end zone. One of the best, but aside from the Giants, I guess you know when Big Ben won his, his with that last second touchdown, yeah. the tippy uh. toe that was unbelievable. Yeah, that was. Yeah. I mean, we were. I think we've been blessed the last decade with great Super Bowls. Ryan, oh, yeah. what, what was your favorite uh, Super Bowl, Super Bowl game, your Super Bowl moment of watching that you always cherish and maybe tell your kids one day about? What's uh, what's your favorite? Game or moment or team winning? Yeah, it, I know you're a Cowboy fan over yeah, there. Do you remember yeah, that? I, I, <laughs> that's the thing, man. I uh, I am a dire fan, but uh, you know I wasn't really yeah you know, experiencing it at that time. So uh, for me, as far as I guess the most memorable, uh, my favorite moment, um, even though it goes against everything, it might be the Pat Giants game. Yeah. I, I, I hate too much. <laughs> Ryder, a Cowboy fan thinking Pat Giants. I was in. I was in it wasn't so much that they won. Just like the, the 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 memory of it, you know, the because I was with all my friends in at school and it was just it was unreal. I mean, they had a perfect season and awesome. Did. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. You know, a lot of money was won that day at Giants-Patriots. Oh, yeah. I, know, I know a lot of people went on a spring yeah. break because of that game in yeah. the gambling world. 
I mean, that's all I'm going to touch base on that. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a great day. It's just a great day. People get together, you know, you get the fans that come out of wood Woodworks that don't even watch football, and, you know, they, they just want a reason to party. You know what? That's the reason to party. The commercial is always awesome. You know, you get your funny commercials out there. And um, it, it's just an awesome day. It's a day you don't want to end, I feel like. And it's sad for us football fans, even talking back from the NFL draft, that this is our last football game we're going to watch until September and that's absolutely horrible but you know we got uh, more sports and stuff going on after this so we're going to start off from beginning to end here so at first let's just talk about media day Deuce what was your takeaway from media day have you caught it all uh, on Tuesday or I mean obviously I've seen you know the Marshawn Lynch the whole, that whole thing uh, I don't really know how I feel about that honestly with Marshawn Lynch because I could see it from his perspective you know he's here to play football he's not really here to be you know like media having to talk everything it's just an NFL rule that he has to do but I on the other end I could look at it from like you know my perspective as a lot of people look up to you as a player and this is what you have to do and I don't agree with that he should so I'm gonna stick I'm gonna side actually with Marshawn and say that I, I don't care that he doesn't talk to the media okay Vin you, you feel yeah, the same I'll, way yeah, I feel the exact same way yeah he shouldn't he shouldn't be obligated to speak. He's a football player. I mean, I understand it's, a, it's in his contract. He has to stay there for four and a half minutes, whatever it was. But if the man's not a good speaker, you can't force somebody to speak if they're not good at something. You know, you can't force somebody to do something that they can't do. But it's the NFL rules. You have I to do media that, day. You gotta, running, you gotta talk to the fans back. and interact. It's part of the deal. I understand, but he's a running back. He shouldn't have to speak. That. I, I wouldn't speak if I was him. If I didn't feel like I wanted to speak, I wouldn't speak. Vin, you're I'll telling be me because he's a running back, he doesn't have to talk to the media? Is that what <laughs> no, you just said? No, he doesn't. Why? He has to run the football. That's his job. <laughs> You're supposed to be a face of the NFL. You're supposed to but talk. He doesn't to... look at it like that. Yeah. He looks at it as he wants to get his carries and win his second straight Super Bowl. That's all he cares about. I hear you. You, I think, hear. you think he cares if someone says, "Oh, he didn't talk." No, I don't think so. But Vinny, they asked the most ridiculous questions on media day. He could have took part in some of the questions. They asked like, "What's your favorite snack and stuff?" Like, come on. No, you're right there. Man. I mean, <laughs> but. Skittles. He could have done something. <laughs> he could have done something. He could have put a kid on his lap or something. Like, you know, he could have done something else than just, you know why I'm here. Or I just don't want to be fine. I, I, I just don't like it. I think that's very ta uh, tasteless, I would say. And I think they should find him for his hat. They had the Beast Mode hat on. And you know what? NFL, Roger Gale, fire him. You know what? If you can't answer simple questions and make a good time of it, every other Seahawk there is laughing, having a good time. You know, the fans in the stands, Seahawk chants are going wild. And Marshall Lynch, you know, you want to, you just don't want to take part in it. It's, you know, it's not like taking SATs. No, uh, you can, some questions you don't have to answer, next question. Right. And then answer another question. Ryan, what you take? You think Lynch should have, uh, I mean, done a better job at his um, media day? Or I, I thought it was a joke. Decide. I mean, I understand where you guys are coming from. Uh, <laughs> and if this wasn't a rule, I would understand his point of view. But because it is just the way it is as of right now, like he did, there's no reason for him to be as big of a... I, he's just too immature about it, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, there's no need to, to go over the top and give the same... You know, like with your favorite snack, you don't have to say, I'm here so I won't get fired. Yeah. Or, you know, I'm thankful. Like, he, he 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 gets his point across, but I feel like he maybe does it a little too much. I mean, he's capable of using words and speaking. Yeah. So I, he, <laughs> I mean, obviously, he's, I feel like he's trying to I feel like he's trying to annoy them too much so that they'll stop. You know what I mean? You guys mm -hmm. get that feeling, maybe? That he's trying to, like, get them to just get tired of interviewing him? Uh, I, I could definitely see that. I, I feel like the NFL is just getting on top of him basically for everything that he does. Yeah. So I, I can see that he's getting... You know, annoyed, and that's why I'm gonna say he's not answering any questions. Right. Like, you know, you're saying yeah. answer a little bit, but like his whole, you know, touchdown celebration where he grabs his crotch, they're getting on for that. They're getting on for his hat. You know, yeah. they're fine. Yeah. He's the... getting fined for right. everything. They're gonna find him for wearing different color laces soon. Yeah. So he couldn't wear his gold cleats. <laughs> they're gonna find him. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Kick him like, out of the game for that. Yeah. I mean, come on. Stop uh, picking. No, I hear. I hear you on that. Now, yeah. you know. Dugan, since you brought it up, that's actually a prop in the Super Bowl. We'll actually talk about it right now. Will Marshall Lynch grab his crotch <laughs> in the Super Bowl? If he's going no to touch that, yes or no? I'm not going to yes lie. No? I think he will. <laughs> you think he I will? think he will, absolutely. Vinny? I go yes. I'm going to say will. that. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Are we going the pipe train on this <laughs> one? Uh, uh, Brian, what do you think? Absolutely, man. He, I, I see three? it not happening. I'm going for I'm going for yeses. Absolutely. Listen, so, if you that means he's going to be a straight gentleman, a straight G on Super Bowl, not do anything. If you don't but think that we got four yeses they, first his prop. teammates are in the locker room right now, like, yo, if you score a touchdown, you don't do it, don't worry. We'll pay half your fine or whatever. Yeah. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> yeah. I, but is this a distraction now? Ben, is this a distraction with the Seahawks martial arts or no? I they seem so. chill about it. I don't it. think it's a distraction. No. He, no. he didn't answer questions last year. Look what they did. They That's routed true. Denver. He didn't even show up last year. Yeah, yeah, right. You're right. He didn't even show up last year. You're Wait, right. Well, hold on one sec. There's a prop bet if Marshall Lynch scores that he'll grab his Yeah, ball. there's a prop bet for so, it. So, there's a prop bet for anything. Why, why wouldn't... Why wouldn't some people bet on it if Lynch is like, they, just ask him, are you going to, and he'll just be like, yeah, what's what to stop his friends? Right, we will get there, bro. <laughs> we will get there, break. We just threw it out there. We will get yeah. there. There's a lot of things going on. Fair All enough, I'm going to say is I'm ready for the Gatorade color. And <laughs> it's just that simple. Sorry, Jim C. If I sponsored Gatorade just now, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Stuff got to happen on this show. Find, it's going to get weird. I did some find, research. Like, I went nuts. Oh, oh. I mean, I looked at the refs for this game. I put it all up on our Facebook. I, I really did some homework for the Super Bowl, hopefully. I, I haven't had some good Super Bowls as of late. I really haven't. See, I got buried. I had Denver all the way last year. I'm nervous going against Seattle. If I do pick against Seattle, we'll see. But um, let's go. Let's touch one more time on the flake game. Robert Kraft came out and said that uh, after all this, the NFL should um, apologize to the Patriots for ruining, you know, their legacy and, you know, their way of the Patriots. So... Do you think uh, Robert uh, Roger Goodell actually deserves an apology to them? Do you think does that Roger Goodell should apologize to the past with all this stuff? I mean, Dugan, what did you take on that? I don't Are know. They they right? Is Kraft ap- right for saying that? I don't think they deserve an apology. Um, you know, Kraft is uh, Kraft. Uh, Goodell is just doing his job. You know, as the commissioner, blah blah blah. But I I, I got I want to go back to last week because last week I actually ripped Bill Belichick for. You know, doing what he did, that he should be suspended. I agree yeah, with you. Yes, me and you. Um, honestly, I really didn't know the whole situation mm-hmm. of it, but now that you know everything's out, like that's football. You know that the football is now before the game. Go to the refs. Yeah. So I can't blame the Patriots now because it, the refs had the balls. So <laughs> it's only the refs that they can blame. So, and for to be like the refs, they handle the ball almost every play, and they put it down. I, you have to be able to feel that. Yeah, Vin. Yeah, I hate to say it. I'm, I'm siding with Dugan again. I don't think, I mean, I don't think they deserve an apology mm. per, per se, but they do deserve, I don't know, if it's they should just stop speaking about it, put them in the back burner at this point. I don't know what you want to do. It's still being spoken about everywhere. There's really not going to be anything. Like Dugan said, the refs touch the ball before the game. If a ref can't see a ball is one pound less than it's yep. supposed to be, there's a problem there. You know, no. there's a problem there. Yeah. I mean, there is. <laughs> uh, we just found That's out. That's your job. <laughs> uh, right. We just found out that they're giving this to Columbia University. Yeah. To, for them to go and see if they could find anything that, if the balls were really tampered with, or maybe the weather had to do with it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, I though. mean, it, it's going far and beyond now. I don't think it mattered anyway, but. The weather. The, yeah. The I don't, weather can yeah. do it. The, yeah. the Colts balls would be deflated too if that's, that's the case. That's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're looking at all options here, man. They'll, I mean,. But look at all options here. I seen one thing that they were like, oh, the bulls are getting deflated because of the grunk. How, yeah, how yeah, they, when he throws yeah. the ball down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, but I like doing that. They actually they put a little uh, send off together before they went on the airport. I think they're in good spirits. I think this deflate game made them a team. I think this really, this week, uh, put a little edge put a little edge to them yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, you know they're pissed off now and you know yeah. when they always say when you play New England you know you gotta out physical them and this and that and usually they're the out physical team when they used to play Peyton Manning back in the day yeah. but now they're you know now they're pissed off and you know we'll see how Belichick and Brady react on Sunday I, I think uh, I think we're in for one hell of a Super Bowl I, I really do. This is. Have you ever seen a Super Bowl that was a pick 'em? I, I don't remember the last time when the spread was a pick 'em, guys last year was it last well, year? Last year was a pick em, yeah. It was a pick was a pick yeah, sure. I would have thought Peyton Manning was favorite. It was a pick Well, I lost, so that makes sense. So that <laughs> makes that sense. Last year it was a pick em. I guess that's not surprising. Uh, number but one we, D, number one offense. But before that, it was yeah. years. Yeah. Ryan, years. Ryan, were you shocked that Seattle opened up at minus two and a half, and now it's New England minus one the other way? It, uh, the spread opened up Seattle minus two and a half. I thought the spread opened up pick em in the No, it opened up minus two and a half Seattle. And then money really? came down and went minus one New England. I swear to God. Wow. Uh, yeah. No, I'm actually not. Um, I'm not. I mean, I wonder how much the plate gate has to do with it. Um, mm. But I mean, I'm not. I, I, you know, Seattle's ridiculous, but I think, I think Vegas maybe made a mistake on this one mm. and didn't expect that many people to be like, no, the Pats got this. Okay. Obviously, it switched a lot. You know, um, I'm not too surprised. What do you, what do you think, dude? Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. When I when we first got this matchup, I thought it was going to be Seattle minus three and a half. 
Uh, and I thought that the public was going to side with Seattle, honestly, just on their defense and Russell Wilson alone. Right. But uh, I'm I'm not surprised because, um, well, we'll get into it later, but I'm not surprised that the Patriots are now minus one because, you know, I think that their their offense is just one of the, the best I've ever seen. They have a great defense this year, so I'm not surprised that okay. uh, everyone's on them. Yeah. So, all right, let's 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 put it all to rest now. We talked about media day. We talked about the flake gate. It's all over. Now, from Wednesday to Sunday, it's all about game planning. It's all about your matchups. It's all about getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday now. Like, all the fun's over. Lock the doors. Kiss kiss your wife goodbye. Kiss your kids goodbye. This is it. Yep. It's time to buckle down in your room and get focused. The nerves are rattling definitely in both in both hotel rooms for these guys. Right. If I was, you know, if I was Belichick and Tom, I probably wouldn't even be sleeping. Like, it's, it's just that a lot's on the line. Legacies yeah. are on the line in this game. Exactly. So, Vin, what's your take? What's what's on the line for Seattle? What's what's their key? What, what's the keys for Sunday for them? What does it mean uh, for them if they pull this off? I what think, do you think it's really big for them if they pull this off. I mean, personally, I think back-to-back Super Bowls, that's really hard to do, especially for, with a young team. Your quarterback's still under, <coughs> under his rookie minimum contract. I mean, you know, this is their last run, I think, because then everybody is going to go next year. Everyone has to get paid from Lynch to Russell Wilson, to Sherman, to Wag, they all have to get paid next year. So I think this is their last their last run. That's it. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to, yeah, let's talk about this later. But, yeah, I think, <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, what would you say, Pete, what are he focusing on, you think, this week? We'll touch it on again. Like, game plan for New England. Pete Pete's going to focus on stopping the pass and stopping LeGarrette Blunt. He's going to take I the think, blunt yes, away. Yes, I think okay. he's going to take Blunt away and make them pass. Like I said, he has a strong secondary. He's a great defense, but I don't think he wants to get beat on the ground. He'd rather get beat with the air, I think. Okay. You know, you have Sherman, best cornerback of the league. You know, yeah. I think you try and and use him to your advantage. Dugan, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna put you in Belichick's mind. I'm gonna put you. What do you think he did these la- this last uh, week off and so such? I mean, he, he had took, a lot on his plate with the Deflate Gate. You think it a, I'm gonna say he took a page out of uh, Mike McCarthy's playbook. He mm-hmm. has to be able to get the edge and keep Russell Wilson in the pocket. Like Marshawn's gonna do what he's gonna do, stop the pass. They're yeah. gonna, that's it. Don't let Russell Wilson throw forty yards down the field. Keep him in the pocket. Let him throw. I think that's what they want to do. Yeah. You think the Patriots are able to stop that read option? Uh, I or think Wilson they can. And Lynch? I, 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 okay. I think they can. You know, uh, Donta Hightower's back and Jamie Collins are setting the edge. They're both very fast, capable linebackers, and I think they can keep him in the pocket. Okay. Okay. Ryan, I, my question to you, Ryan. You see, Seattle had the fake field goal yep. last week against Green Bay. You saw. Our, uh, New England with the wide receiver pass back against Baltimore. Do you right. think this uh, any tricks up the sleeve for Seattle New England coming in? Do we see uh, uh, special teams? How big is special teams in this game? Yeah, I, you know? uh, I, I can't wait this game. I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of stuff we can talk about. Um, yeah. But as far as coaching goes and trick plays, uh, both teams are at the very top of the league with um, how often they'll, they'll do it and, and how risky they'll get. Yeah. It's just extremely interesting. Uh, I mean, there's there's a chance that both teams are. It's a, it's always a mind game. Yeah. With Pete Carroll and Bill Belichick, with these teams, uh, I mean, uh, I'm expecting, yeah, I'm expecting at least one huge trick play to work, mm. and at least one to not work. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 very interesting. That's very, very very interesting. Very, I, I feel like they're okay. kind of both expecting the other team to also. Yeah. Come I out can see that. Different ways. So. I, I, who do, who's feeling more the more pressure, Carroll or Belichick in this one? Is it equal? I don't I don't see. I'm going to go Belichick. I think yeah. Belichick's yeah, he lost his it. last two Super yeah. Bowls. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm he's got to Belichick, win yeah. I think it's Belichick, too. Belichick as well. Belichick as well, okay. I, I, I was actually reading something. I saw that they saying that there's going to be no touchdown score in this game. It's just going to be a battle between Hoskins and Goskowski. You know I love my field, <laughs> field goal kickers, guys. You know I love my yeah, kickers. Goals. But, you know, reading that actually made me think of that, how good these teams are in the red zone defensively and how precise Tom is passing the ball in the red zone, how stout Seattle looked against Green Bay, holding them to two field goals. So if I was Belichick, I would really focus on 10 yards and in, a lot of red zone stuff. I think they're not gonna have a problem matriculating down the field with the three yard passes and the screen games and the magic Josh McDaniels has. I think they really had to focus it on getting seven instead of three in this game. I think they had to put them away because I don't think Seattle has the offense that they once had. I think Percy Garvin's a huge loss for them. I think you saw how big he was when, he, uh, when they played Denver. And I don't trust Doug Baldwin and these guys to, to get it done. It, it's it's really Wilson and Lynch versus them. With that secondary with Brown and McCourney, Chung and Revis, uh, I, I would really focus on Belichick making seven instead of three. You have to get seven in this game over three. I don't think you could take the McCarthy round and kick field goals. 
Uh, Because Russell Wilson, he'll get down the field, even with his legs if no one's open. Uh, That's just my take. If I was Bill, I would focus on red zone drills nonstop throughout the week. How are we going to get open against these guys? Because few teams can get open against these guys. It's very tough. So if I was Bill, focus on red zone. If I was Kyle, honestly, um, running the ball, I would make sure the offensive line's intact. Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch, four yards goes a long way with Lynch. You, you got to be able to run the ball because I don't think Kyle could trust his wide receivers and you to can't get open. commit turnovers either versus the Patriots because yeah. they'll turn turnovers into, into points all day. Abs- absolutely, absolutely, Ben, absolutely. Uh, those are those are two great points. So before we go on and pick up our game and stuff, I would like to do something. Vin, Vin and Sandy, you have the quarter, right, Vin? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to, right now, Pipe on Sports, we're going to determine the coin toss. Vinny got this quarter. Vin, where'd you get that quarter, Vin? On the toll coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> so Vinny did not bring his easy pass then. He drove all three of us up there. So we're going to, I said, Vinny, you know what? Save that quarter. I'm going to do the coin toss right here, and that's going to be our Pipe on Coin Toss prediction. So Vin, when you're ready, flip well, it in the it air, is. catch it, be the ref, and what do we got? Tails. So we got tails. There tails go, never tails. fails. Tails. So go, pipe bomb tails. prediction, we're going with tails. And it's simple, simple as that. Yeah. Uh, tails never fails. Tails I was going to pick tails anyway. Yeah, so so yep. uh, we're going to go with that. And um, let's. Uh, now we're ready to get into the game. So, guys, this is the time where I want your score. I want your winner. I want your MVP. And we're going to go from there. We're going to take a break. And we're going to just do all props from here on out. So if you want to think about it real quick, take a second. I'm going to go first. I will lead it off. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the beginning of the year, I picked New England Patriots. And I'm um, sticking with the New England Patriots. I did have them versus the Cowboys. So I'm going to go New England 38, Seattle 24. I'm going with a very high score. And I like this because uh, the referee actually refed a lot of high scoring games this year, I saw. So. I think there's going to be a lot of flags. I think this game's going to get called tight to the vest. I think with the playoffs in the NFC this year, you saw a lot of really bad calls. I think they're going to be on the note. I do not think they're going to let both of these physical defenses play. I expect a lot of holding, a lot of pass interference calls. Uh, MVP will be Tom Brady. I got him thrown with three touchdown passes in this game. I'm also saying both running backs in this game will fumble. Marshawn Lynch and LeGarrette Blount will fumble in this game. Um, I think the flake game was for Blount over anything if it was it wasn't for Tom it was for Blount and um, I, I just trust Bill I think Bill two weeks off he's very you know he's almost impossible to beat we love Urban Meyer on the show and all these guys I think Tom Coughlin and the Giants were the right fit to beat New England back in the day I just don't think it's going to happen again I, I trust Bill I'll go to Bill and Tom to the grave with them in Seattle I didn't pick you last year I'm not picking you this year I just don't believe I don't think you're the same team as last year as well I think you know if you're at home with the 12th man and Green Bay team you know, who barely beat Dallas, who shouldn't who shouldn't have beat Dallas and get 42 points to Atlanta. I'll keep bringing it up. You almost lost that home. I, I, I just can't take you out. You're, you're at a home. I think that win at, at the NFC Championship game was enough. I think you celebrated like it was the Super Bowl. And God forbid Russell Wilson comes out and throws a pick in this game. Uh, the Demons are going to start creeping in again. I think Tom Brady has an excellent game. His legacy is called into questioning. Bill Belichick's legacy is called into questioning. Um... I already have a blowout as my score, 35, 20, uh, 24 is a blowout. I think 11 points is a lot. And uh, Tom Brady MVP, and the Pats are going to be celebrating it this Sunday. Uh, good for New England, and we'll see what happens. Vin? See, I have uh, I have a close game. I have Seattle, 31-28. Oh, God. Yep, I'm with them again <laughs> this year. I'm on them again this year, yes. I think they're going to repeat. I really do. Why? I just, think they're that, I just think they're real good now. I think that their defense is just stout, is just completely stout. And their offense is, if they don't commit turnovers and they run the ball, they'll control the clock, and they'll keep the ball out of Brady's hands, and that'll and that'll be that. I, I have Lynch winning the MVP, getting two touchdowns, rushing for 150 yards. I think he's gonna go off. I I really think he's gonna go off. I really do. Okay. How about you, Dugan? Dugan. Dugan. Ah, Nelly. You start the NFL draft with me, Dugan. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Ah, That's all geez. I gotta say. I got Patriots here, 34-27. I have. Tom Brady throwing three touchdowns, just like you. I have, how it, but on defensive side, I have Sherman getting a pick. Mm-hmm. But on Russell Wilson, I have thrown two. I have one to Revis, matching oh. up with Sherman. And I have Brandon Browner against his old team, finishing the game with a pick. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we got to hire these NFL writers <laughs> if that happens, dude. I'm not surprised. I'm just, <laughs> like I'm just letting you know. Uh, but. So, two Pats, one Seattle. Jim, you know, I love you, brother. I love you, brother. That's all I'm going to say. Can't wait to watch. All right, Ryan, I guess tonight. 
it's time to make your <laughs> prediction, buddy. Um, we uh, want the score, the MVP, and how the game's gonna play out. I'm going with I'm going with you guys. Um, I just I mean I had the same thought in 2011 and I was wrong, but I just can't see after all this I can't see Brady blowing a chance to to get a, to get another ring and and just continue his legacy and uh, I think they want a little more. I think yeah. I think the pressure is on them, but I think it's in a good way. Um, I think Seattle's kind of playing with house money after how they won that, um, and it could play to their advantage. But I just think. Kind of like Seattle came out last year and just dominated from the beginning. I think they're going to come out real hungry. Um, I think, I think Brady's also going to get MVP. Uh, I mean, we all know quarterbacks usually get it unless some spectacular thing happens. Um, but I just, I don't see, you know, I don't see them blowing this opportunity. Um, however, I do think it's going to be a bit of an odd game. Uh, yeah, I, really. I, do. I, I can't get away from that feeling. I mean, it's been three years in a row with the safety. Yeah. Uh, weird things tend to happen. Um, these both these teams are so. You know, with trick plays and everything, I just I don't see a normal score. Wild game. Um, so I'm thinking I'm thinking 27, 23. Okay. Pats and um, Tom Brady Super Bowl MVP, but Amazing. I think there will be four turnovers. Four turnovers. There will be four wow. turnovers. Well, Dugan has three. three picks. I have two, both both I running backs are fumbling. I have one pick for each quarterback. Okay. And then a fumble from each player. I love that Brown. I think Brown is Brown. <laughs> Brown is. Is that your MVP? <laughs> <laughs> no, you I, got, I had to put Brady. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 There's just so much. There's so much drama. You guys, yeah. you guys heard about that? Uh, like breaking, breaking yes. Sherman's arm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Was was that messed up? He said, you know, if Sherman's yes, arms yes. hurt, to tell uh, Brown had said, go to his teammates mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know hit that elbow, hit that shoulder. I I would do the same thing. How is that? On, you're trying oh, to win no, a I, Super Bowl here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it definitely blew it up at a. Out of proportion, but yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of drama mixed around. It's a lot of, yeah. lot of. So I got everyone's score. The over is forty eight and a half. We're all on the over. Uh, yeah. We're all yeah, thinking yeah. over. Yeah, we're all we got good. two top defenses. We're all taking the over. What the well, hell is wrong with us? See, I, I, what are we doing? I gave twenty seven points to Seattle very generously. I honestly, <laughs> I don't know how they're going to score besides Marshawn right, 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 Lynch. Right. I really don't. Defense I think Revis Dugan. is going to shut down Doug Baldwin, and one of these no name guys has to step up to score. Yeah. Sure. I really I don't see them scoring a lot of points unless it's on defense. Sometimes the great defenses lead to a lot of scoring because you get the field. The ball mm -hmm. Exactly ball right. And the, like the deeper possession of the deeper end of the field. I mean. Exactly you know? right. I mean, I, I like I'm a Bucks fan. We scored 48 points in that game because of defense. Well, had, right. But I'm saying defenses? we pick the ball off mm -hmm. and you get the ball inside the 40 and 30. You're right. ready. You're ready in field goal range. You're ready in three. In that, yeah. in that quick of a second. And both and, teams are aggressive. Yeah, and God forbid a team goes down ten nothing. You you can't stick to the game plan. You, it was going to be seventeen nothing. You're still going to run the ball. No. Uh, uh, God forbid. I mean, Tom Brady goes down seventeen nothing. You you could just write he's seventeen on the board. He's, he's getting not seventeen. He's going to run the ball again if he get, if, they, if they're down seventeen nothing. What are you crazy? I, I'm just saying. I'm with Ryan because good defenses lead to a lot of points. They lead to a lot of points in games like this. It, it, it just happens. Look, Seattle was the great defense last year. Look how many points they scored. Oh, yeah. You know, it just happens. Special teams, it just happens. That's why we ask these questions. This is why we talk about this. And so we're all on the over. I think they I, I think they should have put the over at 50. I think 40 and a half was a little low yeah. for this game. especially with seven touchdowns. Especially with these coaches and these right. quarterbacks and Marshawn Lynch and how a defense could just pick it and just go to the house in like two seconds. All it takes is one scoreless quarter. Yeah. And then you're... I, I, you know, we'll get to it. We'll see right. how the game's going to play out. Right. We're going to get to it. We're going to take a break in uh, one minute. But, um, Vin, I, I got one last thought with you. What's up? Um, if you are, uh, say, we'll go pregame speech. Okay. Who has to deliver a better pregame speech, you say, Pete or, or Bill? Like, who, I... what, what would your message be if you were Pete? Dugan, what would your message be if you were Bill? Pete if Bill. I was Pete, i tell my guys, go out there and play like you've played oh. the second half of the season. Mm -hmm. From versus the Eagles on, you played lights out. Okay, they've played great. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to do. Dugan, what would your pregame speech? <laughs> Bill's you gonna not, pull a Bacino? Bill's not gonna say much. He's just yeah. he's just gonna go in the locker room and say, "And this is ours." That's basically it. Huh? This is ours, and Bill, do your take, job. We're gonna that's, take it, and that's it. Bill and Belichick. He's gonna walk out after those like eight words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. Bill Belichick, do your job. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take our break, and when we come back. We're gonna talk full props. Full everything. First touchdown, first flag, last touchdown, last flag, everything you can name on the sun, national anthem, everything. See you guys when we return. Are you a smoker and you need to quit? But you're the scariest guys inside of this and like doing me.
Plains Vapors, located at 210 Americ Avenue in White Plains, New York. Visit our location and choose from a wide selection of exotic flavors. Watching the Zadalza Entertainment Network on, on ZenLive.tv. Here you'll find ridiculously good looking people equipped with knowledge, intellect, and passion for speaking the truth. Does it get any sexier? A filtered mind is the only crime for Zen Live. Stay tuned! Hey, this is Vinnie Pastor, you call me Big Pussy, and you're watching ZenLive.tv. You're watching the Zadalza Entertainment Network on ZenLive.tv. And we are back here on Pipe Bomb Sports, and now we get into the gambling section. Full straight hour of just gambling talk. All you degenerates out there, we're going to go wild. We're going to break it all down. What props we like, what props we don't like. If we were a gambler, what would you say? What would, what would we bet? And uh, what would you say here, guys? I would say, like, say, uh... A hundred dollar gamble out there probably makes this game for them a five hundred dollar game. Like, I think how much do you bet? A thousand? Uh, yeah. A hundred dollar <laughs> average yes. a week better That's makes a this a thousand. Yes. Duke's it's the biggest game of the year. I tell you, I mean, if you're a, a small gambler, this is the biggest stage. You, I mean, I can't see you not put it more. Yeah. I hear you. I, I think it's you. mostly because it's, it's a year There's away. There's just so it's much. So much time. <laughs> Until football back up, so Everyone yeah. anticipates this game, and then there's no football for the yeah. next right, three months. Exactly. You know? Well, let's get something straight here, guys. If you're going to gamble this world, make sure you have the money. Don't put yourself in a hole, you know, that you're going to be reaping, you know, through two yeah. jobs for the next three months. It's a game. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. You know, I know there's a lot of prop bets that are going on, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight that we do, and all around the world does as well. So... Just be smart. It's just another day. Well, it's not really another day. It's Super Bowl Sunday. But, you know, bet what you, what you bet have. Bet what the don't, year means. Don't be yeah. stupid. You know, I, one thing about gambling, we talk a lot of gambling about this show. Gambling will never buy you a house. Like, it'll never no. buy you a lifestyle or something like that. No. It's something you do for fun. It's something, you know, to put a uh, spice on the game. And I get it. And I get why people do it as well. Because, you know what? Uh, you watch these players who don't care. They're going to make money off it. Yeah. You're going to go enjoy it and have a good time. And I could understand the average fan could watch a game and not really enjoy it unless they have money on it. And, you know, that's a huge issue. We had a whole gambling segment on the show in December. So we're going to talk about that instead. We want to, you know, we've been around this league, uh, in, in this sport, I would say, more than 10 years. Watching, yeah. we know the ins and ends. We, we see the fixes when they come. We talk about it every single week on this show. It's a different perspective to sports, and that's why we're Pipe Bomb Sports and Zen Live TV. We're not going to give you the same facts as ESPN. We're going to give it our perspective how we see it, how we've seen it since we were 12 years old watching sports, how we learned about you know, the underground talk of the NFL and every sport known to mankind. I mean, you know, movies are made about this and so on and so on. So... Definitely do a pro definitely be smart on Super Bowl Sunday for the fans out there. I don't want to see anyone, you know, crying this and that. I, I just be smart, enjoy yourself, have a good time. That if you win, you're happy. If you lose, you're still happy. happy. You know, it, it, there's no reason to go crazy, and that's that's my message for the fans out there. All right, so we did the coin toss. We're on tails now. We're yeah. on tails now. Who's gonna win the toss? Who's the Ryan? Who's winning the toss for you? Seattle. Seattle. Wow. Do All right, Well. Since it's tails, everyone picks tails, and the Patriots calling it. I'm gonna go with the Patriots. There you go. <laughs> so am I, New England. I'm going New England I'm as going well. New England. New England wins okay. the toss. Okay. Now, Brian, you got Seattle winning the toss. Do they kick? Do they receive? The fur? What do you think? Do they? I mean, they're in Arizona. What do you think they do if they you win know, the toss? Uh, it's interesting. I mean, Vegas has the winner choosing to receive at plus 500, which makes sense, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I have a weird feeling that that might happen. Well, okay. It's a prop that I just wow. have a weird feeling about. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, I know it's very common, obviously, to defer. Mm -hmm. But I just think both teams are aggressive. Both teams know how important it is to score first. Yeah, uh, it is. Both teams trust their defense also. Uh, but I, I just have a weird feeling that uh, they, they may choose to receive. Uh, 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 Ryan, that's a great Going call. Going against that's the a... grain on that one. Dukes, what do you feel with New England? <sighs> I'm going to say they take the ball. They take the they ball. Take receive. Two receives. Yeah. Plus 500 this is? Yeah, plus uh, 500. Ben? That, I think 
digging the kicker to take the ball at the half. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay. I'm, I'm with Vinny on that one. I think uh, Tom will definitely want the ball at halftime. Yeah. But, you know, that's kind of crazy. It might be, you know, the, the strategy odds. takes place here. For the odds plus 500, um, I, I w- if, I, if I was Bill, I would definitely take a second half. I mean, he did it against the Giants, and, yeah, right. um, do, you know, it didn't work. But didn't work. I w- <laughs> but I, if, I'm, if I'm New England, I definitely want my defense out there first. I want to see what the Seattle offense can do. And if I'm Seattle, I do the same thing. I think both ways, in my opinion, it's it's Seattle. Yeah. I mean, do you think it's a flip flop for you, Ryan? Because you pick Seattle win the toss. If it's New England, do you like um, do you like them to I'm, receive? I'm just sometimes I just had a weird feeling, okay. and I just go, you know, I just regardless of who, I just think the team's going to choose to receive the ball. Okay. All right. All right. So so I think if Seattle wins the toss, they're going to kick. They're going to kick. I think. Oh, okay. I think no I think matter. Likely, I think no yeah. matter what, the Patriots will have the ball first. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow. We'll see. So I mean, dude, you know, I mean with props, I mean, you can think about it. If someone bets a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, and goes over three, you're down three hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. And, and right. the ball didn't even get kicked off yet. You can't bet that big on props, though. Yeah, that's the thing. yeah but props there are people, people out there, yeah, Vinny. Right people there. are nuts. Yeah, they. People right. bet safeties every year, and that yeah. shouldn't happen to them. But it's happened for the last six years. So why not? At this point, it's like a threat. It's it's like a trend. It is. It's crazy. I'm like I've had. I've seen people just never watch the football game in their lives. I bet the safety and like I just won four hundred dollars. I go, you don't even know what's going on. <laughs> like you don't even know if what it's even a safety is a or not. safety. Yeah. I mean exactly. <laughs> so all right, we go to the next question now. Duke, I'm going to send this right to you. The opening kickoff is it a touchback back in the end zone through the field goal or it's a takeout? Touchback. I touchback. think it goes through the end zone. Through the end in, zone. In the dome. Actually, no. They'll probably have. They'll probably have it. The sky up. Yeah. Yeah. Sky up. Right. Vin. I say touchback. Touchback. Digging him nearly, yeah, nearly okay. in the end zone, yeah. Uh, Brian? Yeah, I, I'm with Dugan. I, think it'll, I think it'll go past. Um, I'm with Touchback, too. The days of Devin has to take it out against Indy are over, right? Yeah. It's yeah. just NFL boring. Needs to change that. It's that boring yeah. now. It really is. Yeah. But, uh, you know what I think? Uh, even if Seattle gets it because they fumbled against Green Bay taking it out on that play, I would just be safe and just go down. I think you don't want to start a drive. Nerves. It's too yeah. many nerves for people to run. You know, yeah. Sell Especially down, the first play. The offense on, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's... Uh, I, I, I really I really think uh, even if it's uh, doesn't touch out, I think he just needs the ball. Yeah, I, I don't exactly. think, not yeah. even take it out whatsoever. Not take it out. I no mean, way. no risk at all. First play of the game, no risk at all. all right. So, all right, now we got through the coin toss, we got through the the kickoff, <laughs> and let's talk about first play of the game. First play of the game. So you got to remember who you pick, who's gonna win the toss in the first. I picked New England's gonna get the ball in the second half, so I got Russell on the field. Uh, first play is a run. First place on run, I got Marshawn Lynch for, I think it's at three and a half yards, his rush attempt. I got him going for five. I think he's going to hit five, first run of the game, oh, hit five. I think he's going to get hit at the three. Everyone's going to get worried. He's not going to get that heavy yard, and then he's going to get five. So, uh, Ryan, first play of the game, pass, run. Uh, I think it's going to be a run. I, run. I, think, <laughs> I think it's most teams just, you know, like we were saying, the nerves. I think you just yeah. want to hand yeah. the ball off, yeah. try to get a few yards, you know. Uh, and I think it'll be Seattle. And uh, I think they'll give it to Lynch. I think he'll get. Uh, I think he'll get. I think he'll get stuffed. All right. uh, get, oh, he's getting stuffed. Yeah, Positive think, or negative? I, I think it's. I think he's gonna get no gain. No, uh, no gain. You go no gain in the middle on us. Okay, wow. Dukes. First play. I'm gonna go a little crazy here. I got Tom taking the ball. Whoa. I'm gonna go. <laughs> they are going to pick on Sherman. First play. Julian Edelman seven yard catch. Whoa. Wow. Seven yard slant. Yeah. Seven yard button hook or slant. slant. Over the middle. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's what I'm going with. You I'm are t- nuts. Dan- Daniels has been saying all week. You know, Sherman's one of his great corner back we shouldn't do anything he's gonna go right after him okay. i like that i like that ben i go run lynch for 10 run lynch for 10 the place is gonna explode yep. and run yep. Lynch for yep. 10. first play of the game he's gonna Ten grab yards. his jock right there <laughs> all right so we're so we're three runs Pretty, in the pass three, three runs in the pass yes. all right so all right we'll go first drive of the game now we got first play run pass done but first drive of the game is it a punt is it a turnover is it a field goal or is it a touchdown? First drive. Last year, I said fir- first drive was a turnover. And the first play of the game was a safety. See, right. And I'm so mad, you know, that happened because I had no action on it whatsoever. But that was my call. Um, Dugan, you want to start this off? First drive was it? Uh, I'm going to go field goal. Field goal. Patriots. And I'm going to I'm gonna say a pretty diesel one, like a 47-yarder. Wow, you yeah. got guys going out of there. Vin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, field goal, Patriots, first first score. First score. Right. Uh, I think if it's a pass, I think they're going to score a touchdown, but I'm going with uh, Seattle punting the ball. 
Sal Potter. Vin, you got Marshawn Lynch running 10 yards. How do you oh, have Patriot no, I field goal? I got you, I'm sorry. Man. Are you I'm a little sorry. high over I'm there? Sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got you, Vin. Field goal Seattle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got uh, one. Uh, since I got Seattle, I got one first down for Seattle, and they punted. I got punt. I, I really got punt. I think uh, it's a slow start. I think it's yeah. slow sledding. Definitely, uh, definitely a punt. So, all right. We got a lot of firsts going, so let's keep it. Let's keep the trend going. And one of my favorite things to bet, uh, a lot of heartbreaks and a lot of celebrations with this in the Super Bowl. First play to score the first touchdown in the game. Okay, I got a backdrop story to this. Everyone knows, you know, what my, my godfather asked me, he goes, uh, when the Packers played the Steelers, who's going to score the first touchdown? I go, Mike, you take Jordy Nelson. Because one, he has my name. And number two, his jersey number is ZR Bourne. And Jordy Nelson scored the first touchdown. Thank you very much. Wow. My heartbreak in this story is when the Pittsburgh Steelers played the Arizona Cardinals. I took Ben Roethlisberger, 100 to win 1,000 on him to score the first touchdown of the game. And he ha was on the one-yard line. And I had 3-0 in a Super Bowl box, too. 3-0. 0-0 in the first quarter. He scored a touchdown. I started jumping up and down in my house, going nuts. I just won $1,000. Holy crap. And uh, the play got reviewed and showed that his knee was down. It got called back. They kicked the field goal. Yeah, I won a $300 box. I went upstairs, watched the whole first and second quarter in my room. That's how mad I was. Wow. So I opened up the forum here. First play to score the first touchdown of the game. Ryan, lead us off. Seahawks, Pats, play to score the first touchdown. There's a very popular bet in Vegas. Yeah. People want to know who they're going to bet. Do they go to long shots in this game? Can I you see the ball getting on the one and trick trick plays happen? I Your thoughts. these teams are so, so tricky. I, I like, you know, paying for your buck here. If you're, you know, like we were saying, don't go crazy with any of these. But uh, I think the Pats will score the first touchdown regardless. And, and I'm liking either Danny Amendola or Julian Edelman. Okay. They're both very good odds. Uh, Amendola's at plus 2,800 and Edelman's at plus 1,100. So Ooh. both of those are real nice payouts. Um, I think he's going to I think he's gonna go to the air mm -hmm. uh, for the touchdown. And I think, I think they're going to – Zero win on Gronk, so I think he's going to win that. Too. I like that. And the, the odds are in your favor. I mean, the odds be in your favor, like the Hunger Games over here. And, <laughs> and, and I think that's important, you know, when you do take a bet like this and you people out there, that you have to look for the odds. I mean, right. it's very yeah. simple that you could bet, more, you know, you could take Marshawn Lynch. I mean, what is he, 4-1, 5-1? Yeah, I mean, right. do you really want to yeah. you want to put your eggs in that basket? I mean, we have high scores here. We get caught up. You know, by the gambler out there, if you like bet the over on something, I would suggest you stay away from a bet like this because then you get really pissed off at yourself. Tr uh, trust me, I I've seen it happen. But um, Dugan, who do you like to play a first touchdown? Does the odds move you to a certain direction, or you just throw it out? You just want to get it right at the end of the day. I just want to get it right. Okay. Um, I have Seattle scoring the first touchdown, so I'm I can't I have to go Marshawn Lynch. I know what he's, he's the favorite probably. Speak right? of the devil, Dugan. Right? <laughs> so. But um, I, I have show. to do Marshawn. Um, they're gonna run the rock, and I think they go up seven three. That's still it's plus five fifty. It's not bad. That's not bad. Five fifty for Marshawn Lynch is not bad. That is not bad at all. Vin, it's not who's bad. Play a, a score the first TD. I'm with Duke here, Marshawn Lynch as well. But if you're gonna go for the odds, <coughs> you have to take either Julian Edelman or Shane Vereen. I seen Shane Vereen was like twenty to one. Mm, okay. He catched a lot of yeah. passes out of the back. Any plays in the red zone. So I mean, okay. if they get down there, it's a good chance. See, uh, if the Patriots score first. I, I, the person I, who I like, honestly, is Brandon LaFell. Oh, yeah. He's very good, good in the red zone. I, I, yeah. And he's 12 Very to one, good yeah. in the red zone. He's 16 right now. 16, 16 on your thing? Yeah. yeah. Ryan, what's Gronk's uh, odds? Do you have Gronk's uh, odds? I can't find it I up I have here. 13 to 2 on Gronk. Gronk is Bovada. plus 7. On plus 7? I like Lynch Gronk. Is, Lynch is the overall favorite and Gronk's number 2. I, I, yeah. I would take the number 2. Yeah, I would take Gronk, maybe you know, branch him out a little bit from the 10 yard online. Quick seam over the middle, you know, spread him out. I, I'm taking Gronk. I believe Gronk from the Super Bowl he had against the Giants. The way he had one leg, I think he's going to have a huge game. A huge game in this one. I really do. I think he's going to be, you know, superhuman. I, I really right. do. I, I would take Gronk. But also, I got to ask this. If there's a thing that says, will, who will be the first Seahawk to score a touchdown? Do you maybe bet Russell Wilson to score the first TD? Maybe a Russian TD? Do you see that happen? I just told a story about Ben Roethlisberger, the, the heartbreak I had. Wilson has the legs, and if he's inside the two or five, he... He's taking off, guys. He's yeah. taking off like yeah. he did against Green Bay. He is. And and the odds got to be up there for him as being a quarterback. I They're mean, only, I is that a good bang for your buck for 50 bucks? I have here 12 to 1. Yeah, 12 to 1. Russell. I have yeah. it 14. Yeah. So he's Plus 14. 14. Yeah. Yeah. So you put $50 high, yeah. on that, 14 to 1, you win 700. 700. And yeah. how New England plays the passing game with the secondary, and you stop Blinch, 
If he panics, he's going to take off. Yeah. 14 on. That's 100 to win 14 on. You put 50, yeah. you win seven. seven. Yeah. And yeah. that's scoring the first time. And he has the legs to do it. He does. You 100%. see him take off yeah. in Arizona. Absolutely. He's not a performer. Uh, I mean, he he can't do this, guys. He really can't do he this. Can. I don't like it being the first score of the game, but I right. think if you could find it, first Just Seattle touchdown, touchdown. Yeah. take Russell Wilson. Even if it's $50, I think it'll be a good bet. It might not be 14. It might be 9. It might be 7. But 50 to win 350, I think that's the right call here yeah. when it comes yeah. to Seattle. I like that. Uh, I, I, but I'm sticking with Gronk for the first touchdown. I, but I, it, I'm going to look into that with Russell Wilson. If there's something out there, I, I suggest you gamblers out there, you do yeah. take that. Because nice he bet. has yeah. the legs to do that. Or even will he get a rushing touchdown in the game? Yeah. You know, even if you want to go the same route like that, I, I believe. So, let, you know what? We'll ask that question. You think Russell will get a rushing touchdown in the Super Bowl or not? Yes, yes or I no? do. I say yes. I yes. do. I think so. But, yes. No. No. Dugan, Ryan, I, I do. Yeah. You think he's gonna get a rushing? I could see him like you know like, dun, 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 like has the pylon, mm -hmm. hits the pylon mm -hmm. with the football, you know all that good stuff. You know, great commercial for the NFL. See it already how you guys write. So, <laughs> all right, we're doing with the first trend. We're going with the first trend. Dugan, first flag of the game. I want what team and what type of flag it is. I'm going Seattle offsides. They're gonna be really excited. Ooh. Again, they're just gonna jump offsides. Seattle offside. Now Seattle, okay. Seattle offside. Vin? I think it's going to be Seattle full start. Seattle full start. Wow. Rye? Uh, that's tough. Uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be holding. Um, I think it'll be defensive holding on a receiver. Okay. Not sure. I, you want to give us the receiver? It'll, yeah. it'll be on Sherman or Browner. Nice. Nice. On Sherman See, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Um, I got... I think it's gonna happen in the first first drive of the game. Like I got, I really think it's gonna happen in the first drive of the game. Um, I, I I got a full start, full start Seattle, full start Seattle. I got Seattle getting the ball first, full start Seattle. I'm going with. So all right, we keep the first trying to go. So let's break down the quarter now. And I saw that the first quarter, I think it was over under 12 and a half points. Do we have over? Under, I'll start this off. I do not. I have first seven. Quarter. First quarter, 12 and a half, I first believe. Quarter, wow. First wow. quarter, for, but, all right, Forget the 12 and a half. If it's not that, I, I read 12 and a half. But what's your first quarter score? I got 7 3. I got, I got 7 3 right off the bat. 7 3. Ten, I got 10 points total. I don't think it gets to 12. I think it's right on 10. Vin? Okay, I go, um, I'm going to go 7 7. <sighs> okay, wow. I'm going to go 7 7. Yeah. What about you, Duke? I'm with Nelly. 7-3. I got Seattle, though. Oh, I don't know okay. who he is. I have Seattle 7-3. Oh. Seattle as well. Seattle leader. Seattle leader. I got 7 nothing Pats. You got 7 nothing Pats? Yeah. I think Seattle will be closing to, uh, close to scoring. But close. the quarter will end before that. I have 7-3 Pats. I have Gronk first okay. touchdown. 7-3 Pats. 7-3 Pats. Um, all right. So that's end of the first quarter. And... Let's go into props now. Let's go into, um, let's take a break and go into player props. So uh, I believe we have Marshawn Lynch over under 89 rushing yards, I believe. Over under 89 for the game. That's all it is. Over under wow. 89 and a half rushing yards. I love the over, guys. Yeah. I mean, it, it, he didn't show up last year. I think he only had 31 yards last year against them, but it was a blowout. It, didn't it, was, it didn't matter. Right. They can't. I think Seattle, if they want to stay in this game, he has to beat this by double. That seems yeah, he exactly. Yeah, Ryan, yeah. I said the same thing, Ryan. It's bad. It's really bad. Uh, I, I got I got Lynch getting a, a buck 36. Buck 36 in a TD. I got him over. I got him way over. I think this is a slam dunk yeah. bet for people out there with prop bets. Yeah. You take Marshawn Lynch over 89. Yeah. Vin? I have him at 150 and two touchdowns, so I'm going over. I'm going way over. I think way over. Okay. What about you, Duke? I'm not going to lie. I had him, like, I, I went through who, what I thought he was going to get. I had him at, like, 81 yards. But I had to give him a little extra. But I think that they're going to be down in this game. So I think it's going to be a lot closer. I don't think they're going to run the ball a lot. Okay. I have him at 94. So okay. I got him so going over by, over by five. Five, four yards, four and a half yards. Okay. Right? Yeah, I think uh, I'm with Dugan. Uh, I'm, I'm a little lower. I still like the over. I think that's a little low, considering he's... The main guy. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's going to depend how much they mix in Robert Turbin <laughs> yeah. and Michael. Uh, but Lynch is their guy, um, and I think they're I think they're going to use him to kind of get him going. Yeah. Uh, I can't see him getting getting under nine. 
No. But but I like I don't think anything ungodly either. I like about like 104. Okay. 104? Yeah, nothing ungodly. Be okay. Kept in check, but he's gonna get those. Yeah, the uh, the odds he needs. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So let we talked about Lynch now. How are we feeling about Blount? Is Blount gonna explode like people think he is? Is he gonna be held in check? Um. I I put Blount. Honestly, I don't think he's gonna get um. What's his high plan? high? I I can't plan? find it. Yeah. I'll try and look yeah, for it. Yeah, try to look for it. Um, Blount, I would say, not up there. He won't beat Lynch. I think Lynch will beat him. I got it right here, so I, What is it? 62 and a half yeah. rushing yards. I think that's fair. So I, I really think that's yeah. fair. I think yeah. he actually lands on 61. I was going to say 60. 61. I was going to say 60. 60. I'm, Dugan? Done. I'm done. What? Where's my screen say right here? <laughs> What do you got? 13 61. for 61. 60, 13 for 61. Where, where you are We're mind-mouthing. We're mind-mouthing mind mouth out here. <laughs> but, Ryan, what do you like? To, to be honest, with I, I stay away from New England running backs. I, I can't. I, I don't have any confidence in. I mean, who's to say Blunt's going to be their guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jonas well, Gray might be can't the trust the Belichick. Why won't Vereen really be their runner, runner? This I just Jonas don't. Jonas Gray. I, I mean, that's why it's 62, because if we knew he was their guy, yeah. it would not be 62. Yes. Get more than that. It's so true. Um, but I, I can't. So right. I just I can't. <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't. I advise against any prop bet with New England running backs. Yeah. But I would take the under if, if I. Yeah, uh, Dukes, you got any prop bets you want to throw out there? I'm throwing um, on my mouth and over here. I mean, well, you know, what uh, what intrigues you with props? Um, Brady, honestly. Okay. Um, I don't know what his yards are, but I think he's gonna go absolutely nuts. I have him over 300 passing yards, especially on it's, on the Seattle well, defense. Yeah. So it's probably what two. I'll tell you 50? right now. It's 230 last time. I'm, I'm it thinking it's 30. Yeah, I'm, it's I got him then going well, well over that 300 passing yards. I got him 301 and a three touchdowns. Yeah, Tom Brady. Nice. I got definitely MVP 260 and a half right oh, here. Oh wow, 260. So I got him going half. over by 40 wow. yards. Wow. Uh, dude, I, I got him going over like 70. I got him at like 334. <laughs> wow. 334 and three. They're not gonna be able Maybe to run. Maybe he throws four. I have no, they're not gonna be able to run. Dunks all day. If we had Blau at 61, yeah. Dugan. We better hope Brady, and we got I New know. England winning this, that he throws 334 and three. <laughs> we better hope. I'm putting all my eggs, you know, with Brady's Tom and gonna go, Brady's going to throw three touchdowns this game. He is. You have Seattle winning. With the you game, know I understand. Pick, <laughs> I understand that, but he's still going to throw. Doing over I still have them scoring. I still have them scoring 28 points. I know you I do. I think they're going to score 28 points. There you go, Vince. There score, you go. How can score? they score 28 points? All right, so you like over yards, yeah. over yards, me, Brady, over yards. Ryan, are you over yards with Tom? For Brady, absolutely. So... We're on a big, we're on a big Brady. They can't prop run, bet. so I, I don't think they could run. So I think they got the yeah. pass. That's okay. what I think. All right, uh, Ben, you got What's any props up? you want to bring to the table? I'm over just here looking right go? now. All right, so what about Russell Wilson? You think, uh, you think uh, he throws more than two TDs in this game? I mean, I got. 24. I don't think he throws more than two. No, he I, don't. No I, think, I think he throws one and runs one. I think Lynch runs two. I like that a lot. Uh, I like that a lot as well. I like. I think one he throws more. one and one, and then Lynch runs two. There's 28, and then the, and then the field goal makes it 31, 28. Like, okay. I, like I said, uh, I got him rushing one. I might uh, play action bootleg one yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, I I go one on one. I don't think he hits yeah. two. No, I don't think do it's hits two I passes. Do that, no. Dugan, do you like? Do I have two? him at one, one touchdown and two picks, and I have him at 40, uh, two rushing, or 43 rushing yards. All right. No, yeah. no rushing touchdown though. No. You know what's a great prop bet actually? We did not talk about yet. The challenge. Who, what team is going to challenge first is going to be upheld yeah. oh, or yeah. reverse. Yeah. Upheld or reverse. Um, I'll go first. I'm picking Seattle will challenge, and they will get it reversed. So Seattle, Seattle's challenger, Pistol Pete's going to throw that flag out there. Yeah. Something's going to happen, and they're going to get it reversed. Vin, who do you got? See, I go the other way. I think Belichick's throwing it, and I think it's going to stand. Okay. I do. I think that Seattle is going to throw the flag mm. on a crazy catch, and it's going to get upheld, actually. It's going to get, be, still be ruled a catch. We're against each other. Nice. I can totally see Pete Carroll throwing the first challenge. <laughs> I just see it. You could just see him well, walking down the no, sidelines, yeah, chewing no, gum out of his mouth, chucking it. Like, Bill, you see it right, like shaking his head. <laughs> Bill Belichick's you know. like Tom Coughlin. They put it in a sock. They can't get to it, so. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I, I can see Pete Carroll throwing John's flag and getting frustrated when it's <laughs> yeah. Totally see that. All right, let's 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 talk about a fun prop now. Okay, we every year there's always a national anthem prop, and we got Adina Menzel this year. I hope I said it right. And she's listed at two minutes and one second. Yeah, so what, what I do every year, and I hope everyone out there does, 
You use the beautiful thing called YouTube, okay? You go to YouTube, you write a Dina Menzel National Anthem, and she all, she did the All-Star Game in Minnesota at Target Field. So I take my, my watch out uh, on my phone, and I time her, because it's always a little off, a little time. And usually it works. It puts me in a second, two seconds in there. Last year, I, I lost, actually, because <laughs> usually I do go over. I clocked her. Now we got two minutes, one second. I clocked her at a minute... 59 seconds point 43 oh my and, god it's but, pretty close but it's so close but if you youtube it pay attention to the first two verses she goes really really fast and she stretches the last part out a long time and it does a little pump fake she puts the microphone by her mouth and you're not sure if she started or didn't like i was like a person in the forest like look listening to birds and i'm like did she start it look try to find her first Whatever I'm out. It's very tough. It's very tough. But I did clock out a minute 59.45, 40, 46, around there. Okay. So, guys, this is a fun thing to bet, especially if you got um, a prop pool going on and, you know, a lot of friends. Everyone tells the room to shut up. You got to yes, hear man. everything. You got everyone got their phones out. Like, we're watching Usain Bolt at the Olympics, and everyone's going nuts, yelling at the girl that's singing or the guy that's singing to keep going or to end it. It's it's hysterical. It's honestly a, a funny part about Super Bowl Sunday that makes it Super Bowl Sunday. So, yeah. I'm going to ask you this, guys this awesome prop bet that takes place every year. Do you like the over or do you like the under? Simple as that. I go over every year, so I'm going over. <laughs> I'm going over. No reason? I'm you going know who Adina Mazzella is? Do we get that? You know That's the guy from Frozen, that, right? Yeah. Don't yeah. give him okay. the answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm going over. Do you good? Um, well, since you you know, you know run the pool and every year yeah. I'm the official clock guy, <laughs> you are. I do get to see a lot of the times, and a lot of times you see that it goes to like 210, 209 and this is if she she did would you say 159 and an all-star game this is a super bowl this yeah. is like the biggest stage it's yeah. indoors, too. she's gonna stretch out this thing she might go 212 she I, going yeah, 212 I, I don't know oh my god she has some pipes <laughs> ben, ben, ben uh, i want a time with you before we move 205. on 205 205 212 okay 212 right ben took my time <laughs> <laughs> 205. I, like, I like the over two uh it's you know it's like Dugan said, Super Bowl, everything's a little more, yeah, you know, bigger of a deal. You know, you stretch it out, and uh, I can see her stretching it out. So I'm, I'll go, uh, I'll go two oh six. Yeah, I'm, I'm going two oh three. Barely going okay. over, just two oh two seconds. Now, but now he's trying to get the closest without going over. over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like two oh three. I'm still right there. Usually it's a two second increase. Dugan, you know I've hit this on the yeah, money many yeah. times. So I always give a two extra second. If I got you at one fifty nine. 202, 203. I'm gonna, it's gonna land right on 203. We'll see. We'll, call, we'll see who's the closest, and that's you know the beauty of it. And you know if it's an under, everyone starts cursing. It starts going wild. <laughs> and this is what the Super Bowl Sunday is all about. It's fun stuff like this. Fun, fun props like this, like to have a good time and relax. It's like going to a casino when, when you're first 21 for some people. Yeah. It really is. It's that feeling. It's like you know, it, it's really that feeling. Just have a good time with it and enjoy your day, win or lose. I mean, you're gonna have Super Bowls where you win. You're gonna have Super Bowls where you lose. You're not gonna win every single one. You're not, you know, you're not gonna lose every single one either. Yeah. You know, what I would say is trust your heart, trust your feelings. And that's what we do on the show. And that's what we, you know, uh, what's the word? We preach. That's what we preach. To so stay away from what, you know, the professionals say or whatever. Use them as guidelines, but trust your instincts, your eye test, and, and give your advice. And, you know, that's that's what we are. I always say we're not handicappers, we're guardians here. And that will always be my uh, my line here on Pipe Bomb Sports. So, all right, we got we got the national anthem over. So let's stay on this funny funny run now. These funny okay. trend props. Let's go Gatorade. Let's go Gatorade Cool. We'll go there. We'll go right to the end. We'll go Gatorade Cool right away. Okay. So I got I did some research on this. I did do some research <laughs> on this. Did? I paid attention to Media Day, folks, and I do have my Gatorade right here. That's the orange Gatorade, and I'm picking orange. Okay. Look at the pictures last time, Picow. Um, Gypsy, I think we have it in Dropbox. Gatorade Cool, we do have it up. I think it's a little green, it's a little orange. Let's see, we got orange. We got orange. I'm watching Media Day yesterday, and I see orange yeah. again. So maybe this is the Seattle secret sauce, yeah. the orange Gatorade. And so I'm going with this. And this is on media day in front of all the Seahawks. So I'm, I'm going orange. I'm yeah, really, I'm I think it's at 5-1 around there, too. 
it, it's a fun thing to bet. Maybe you lost all your bets. You're talent like a thousand dollars is a hundred, and you know you got like the fifty dollar Gatorade cooler in because you think it's cool. Maybe you got drunk. You know, maybe you got drunk and you put all your bets in on Saturday night and you got Gatorade cool. Go orange, go orange. Nothing wrong. It's an original color. Yeah, I, exactly, I like it. Yeah. Vin, what, what do I'll you put like? I'm orange as well. Uh -huh. I'm the media day. Yeah, I am. I am with you there. Okay. I am. Well, after watching that, I got to go orange yeah, with you. You, you had to. It's, oh, man. That's that's feeling, man. I mean, it is the best flavor. It's actually my favorite flavor of Gatorade. So <laughs> I, agree, I agree. I got to go orange. <laughs> right. What are you taking here? What are you taking? I'm, but I'm, I got New England winning it. But orange, I, I think exactly. orange is a sure. <laughs> but orange is a sure thing. I think on one side, I think it's orange or whatever New England got. So maybe if you got New England, you see, I'm trying to hedge out here, Ryan. You know what I'm trying to hedge out here. I'm gonna go blue. Going blue. So, I'm gonna go blue. Okay. And I did some research on New England. They got a lot of clear. They got a lot of clear in their Super Bowls. A lot of clear. Oh, okay. Very yeah. weird. A lot of clear. Interesting. A lot, a lot of clear. I see a weird prop so, like, here now. <laughs> okay. There's a prop here I see. It says, will Julian Edelman have a rushing attempt in the Ooh. game? Ooh, a little wide receiver reverse. Little, yeah. What are the lines on that? The lines are right here. Minus 155 for yes. And wow. no is plus 125. Well, oh. So it's favored. Favored, but he's going to have a run. Ryan, what do you think about that? Would, uh, you, would uh, you take that? Take you, no. I would take you would take the no. the no? I would take the yes. Because if you're telling me Blount's getting 62 and they can't run the ball, they, I think they're going to try to stretch the field and use Edelman. Yeah, I'm with you And too, it no. worked good against Indianapolis Colts. He was out. I think it'll happen like play. a reverse true, true. or a double reverse, something like that. I think occur, it's more yeah. likely he'll get a pass, though. Well... Yeah, uh, well, I think yeah, I yeah, hope so. He's a wide receiver. He's going to get a pass. <laughs> His first catch no, 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 is for meant, nine and a half yards. I meant uh, yeah. him passing. Oh, okay. Like they, okay. Uh, okay. The okay. last game. But, Dugan, what do you like that? I mean, it's a wide receiver reverse that's yeah. favored. I think it'll happen. Yeah. They, they, they showed it two weeks ago. That's I mean, crazy he, to be he was favored. on the outside in like 0. 0.02 <laughs> seconds. He's like, fast. So, He's really I, fast. I can see it happening. You can see it happening. Okay. I Another crazy prop. Over, under... Shortest touchdown in the game, one and a half yard, over under. So you think shortest? The shortest so the ball is on the, the inside, the, the five. Half, so yeah. the one and the goal line, the under <laughs> wins. Yeah, wow. and it's minus one fifteen, minus one fifteen. Wow. So they're saying wow. the ball is gonna be on the one, minus one fifteen. I, I would I mean, say, that's... I would say under. I with those two defenses, I could just stop you right before you yeah. get in, and Blown and Lynch just the knee goes down yeah. at the one yeah. and the ball there. I, I would go under there. I would go under. Happen so much, yeah. True. We've I seen go. it happen so much that yeah, this offseason, this postseason, a play is getting stopped on the on the goal line, on the half yard line. It's gonna happen, I think. I, I, I gotta so. go under too, just on the basis that on any play you can get uh, pass interference in the end zone, yeah. and you're on the one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good call, dude. So, sure. Pipe Bomb went 4 0 on that. So, you know what's going to happen, right? They're going to go for him, fourth down, <laughs> get and they're going to get stopped. stopped. <laughs> the ball's going to be there. And that's how you're going to get the safety. And that's how the safety hits <laughs> once again. And, that, and that's what's going to happen. All right. So, that's we fun. love these fun props. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back, do more fun props. We're going to do some player props. We got lots more to go. We got a half hour left, and we're going to keep rolling, baby. We're going to keep on rolling. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Addicted to Ink, a proud sponsor of the Zaraza Entertainment Network, is Westchester's premier tattoo, piercing, and apparel destination. Offering only the finest tattoo and piercing services, as well as the best atmosphere you will find. Addicted to Ink is located conveniently at 38 Westchester Avenue in White Plains, New York, right across the street from the Westchester Mall. If you got the itch for more ink, like the Zaraza boys do, get your work done right. Visit www.addictedtoinktattoos.com for more information. Monday's got you off the wagon? Well, worry no more, because it's now officially a part of the three-day weekend. So get on board. Come party with the Standby Gypsy, Juju the Model, and Blue Rivera every Monday night for your entertainment week in review, off-the-wall interactive segments, live performances, in-depth interviews, and the latest in sports. The Hangover Takeover is live every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on ZenLive.tv. 
watching the Zadaza Entertainment Network on ZenLive.tv. All right, welcome back, everybody. And now we get more in-depth player props and more funny props. So, Dugan, let's talk about the wide receivers here. Who do you think from Seattle is going to have the most receptions? From Seattle? Yeah. Um, I, well, I think Bowen's going to get kind of shut down, so I'm going with uh, Jermaine Curse. Yeah. Okay. I got him four catches for like 68 yards. Yeah. Most and catches, I, four? Yeah. Like right that. Four catches. Do good. I'm with you. I got him at, uh, I'll, I'll give him five. I'll give him five. You're going to have most catches? I got to give him five. I feel like four is a little long. I'm going to go five. Finn, who you got most catches? Seattle. Yeah, I have uh, I have Curse with five. Curse with five. five. Catches, yes. Well, big on Curse. Yes. They after that big game against yeah. the championship well, game. Yeah, well, they huh? really have don't have many other targets. You know, maybe yeah. the tight end Wilson. I think he'll catch three, four passes. Mountain's gonna be the leader. Right. Who you like here? I you actually do like Luke Wilson to be the leading leading guy. Uh, I got I got Luke catching four. He's Luke Wilson right now. He's at two and a half minus one thirty five. So that's a good sign for you. Yeah. So I, it's like, I like him. I like him. Maybe not the leader. I like him getting four though. He he's a clutch player, man. He, he comes he's, up he big. Is. He really is. I mean, he had the. Uh, he's a monster. He's, he's a big he's, dude. And he's fast. He's very fast. Yeah. I I, I see them find a way to, to implement him into their game plan a lot. Mm. And I can see Lynch getting a few passes out of the backfield too. That would be inter- that would be very interesting. I would honestly say. Um, so we're you know we none of us picked Baldwin. I found that very interesting. They got him right now, four and a half catches for the game. Four and a half is it? Uh, and it's minus one fifteen, minus one fifteen. Nothing favorite, nothing even. I, I mean, how many catches do we have this guy catching with his big mouth that he has and big talk? I got him. I got him two catches. I got three. Game. Two. I got three. Two. I got three. Well, yeah. I, I think, you know, sometimes your mouth can't write the checks, as exactly. I say. You know, I, I really don't like him. You think no. Revis is going to be on Baldwin? That's his guy the yeah, whole game? I think He's so, the yeah. only guy there. Yeah, <laughs> he's the only guy there. Well, last week, like, I don't think it matters. And you're right. It didn't matter, Jim. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm looking at you here for this because you're like the Revis Island himself. I, listen, Re- <laughs> I, I'm, what I have Baldwin is at three catches for 41 yards. 41, 41 yards. yards. He's not catching a bomb as he usually yeah, does. No, it's just... Right. He's, he's going to get mostly shut down in this game. I found this very interesting, by the way, and we had to talk about this. Why is Turbin on Seattle, the backup running back, only over a, a half a catch? And that's all he needs to win. Half a catch? A half, half a, a catch, catch minus 155. Oh, because he's One reception, gonna, you he's win. He's One definitely going to come out win. and get a catch wow. out of the backfield. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we yeah, all want Marshawn so. Lynch. Yeah. We're all Marshawn Lynch. Uh, Ryan, do you like that? I mean, I think that's I like a no-brainer. I you like gotta that take a lot. that. Yeah, you do. You gotta lay the cheese there yeah. too. Minus one fifty-five. You gotta lay the cheese for Turbin. One, one catch. He comes in at the change of pace back. You know, at least four times a quarter. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. He's gonna come out of the backfield at least once. Right. Do you think even, like even so that you know we took New England that you know you're gonna take Lynch out of the game at some points to get that out of the backfield? But you know you saw Wilson throwing like the fade. You know, scree- uh, shots down then the field to the, the Packers, and he caught him. I mean, yeah. he almost scored a touchdown. It is a little weary, but I don't think he could play the whole game. And I think this is definitely a nice take because they're going to say, oh, Lynch is there. They're definitely passing. New yeah. England will hold their defense. Everyone will be covered. And Russell Wilson just might be like, here, even for negative one yard, a catch. It's still a catch. Yeah. Even yeah. It's, it's still a catch. catch. Yeah. I think that's a home run. Yeah, I think yeah. you got to take this I think here. They're going to take all the bags of tricks and throw everything they got. So I, I can't see that not happening. Yeah. For, for, if it was one and a half. You know, That's a different story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Worried, but. All right, Vin, I got a question for you, Vin. What's up? I got a, I got a question. Let's, uh, let's, let's look at defense here. Yeah. What do you feel? They got Bobby Wagner in Seattle over nine and a half tackles and assists. Do you like over or under? I think he's going to be over the field. I like, I like, over. I like over. I think he's going to play a big role in this game for them on defense. I do. All right. I do. Dudes, Earl the Pearl, Earl Thomas, over five and a half tackles and assists. Uh, I'm going to go over because he'll mostly be on Gronk, and I think Gronk's going to have a decent game. So mm. I think he'll get And he's okay. going to definitely get in a couple other tackles uh, from some over-the-middle throws. So I like him over. Okay. Uh, Ryan, I'm going to give you a kicker question, actually. Uh, Hoska, total points, 7.5, and, and it's minus 135. So yeah. if he kicks two field goals yeah, I, and, and two extra points, he wins. What do you yeah, like? I think that's, that's – I mean, even, even a touchdown and two extra points. Oh, no, that would be three points. Yeah, um, I think that there's going to be a good amount of field goal attempts in this game. So I love that. Okay. I think Hauschka and Goskowski are two of the best in the, <coughs> best in the league. So. They're up there. Um, I, you know, I was very shocked Hauschka had the game he did against Arizona. 
Yeah, I, I thought that was a game. Like, it, I mean, and he is in an Arizona again. Right, he right, missed right, like right. two or three field goals That's because true. that was, and that just hit me right now. <laughs> and that he he struggled in that game. He missed two or three. And but I think he's so wet though, Hoskins and Goskowski's wet too. But oh, you know, yeah, and, but both great. Hoska has demons here. He has demons in the stadium. I mean, we saw it early in the year. But uh, um, I think it's easier to get over when your team wins. Though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, I, they're, I, they're in the Super Bowl. I think. I think both kickers will be on point. I would take it as well. I would take it as well. I, I'm going to start a trend here. Will there be a successful two point conversion? And I'm going to say no. There will be a two point conversion, but it will be unsuccessful. They will try one, and it won't happen. I go no. No. They will try it, but it won't happen. Yeah. I'm so gonna, you think they I'm will try they one? They will try one. Yeah, but one will be happen. tried. Okay. Dukes? I'm going to say no, and there's not even going to be an attempt. Okay. okay. Right? I'm a Dugan. No attempt. No attempt at all. So I'm, I'm picking there. I'm going there. I'm going there. That was one of the weirdest two point conversions I've ever seen, though. So uh, ever. How, did that, how does that even. He's like uh, 20 yeah. feet away from him. I mean, he just who knew it was going to come back? To me, didn't it just, just look like a guy just on defense just stood there and watched yeah. it? Yeah. That was that embarrassing. That was so weird to me. It was embarrassing. I, I mean, <laughs> Tom Grossi, I'm sorry if you're listening. You know, the Packer fan <laughs> we had last week. I, I just, uh, the more you watch insane. it, the more sick it in it gets. <laughs> right. To be honest with you. But uh, let's, we all took the over, but I didn't ask you guys this. Do we like over 24 and a half points for the first half? Is it going to go over? Is both overs going to hit? Because it could go under. It could land on 20, and then you could have a scoring boom in the second half. I think you know, we had 7-3. Yeah. We had low score in first quarters. I think the first half's going over. It's going over. I do, yeah. Dukes? Uh, yeah, I got it going over. I got 17-13 Patriots. Nice. I got 17-14 Patriots. I got it going over, too. I, 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 going I, over I see again to 23. 23? Oh, people. The, uh, yeah, is it a Hoskin attempt? <laughs> is uh, it a Hoskin attempt and he misses? I, think, <laughs> I, mean, before it. I just think it's going to be I think it's gonna be one of those games where it's you know slow. Like I said, 7 nothing first quarter. I think it's going to get more and more points as the game goes along. Okay. Uh, I can see the second half being big. Big. Uh, um. All right. Um. You know what? And we since we capped that the first half now, let's cap the second half. Play the score. The first touchdown coming out of the second half. Who did gets the first TD coming out of the second half? Because there's prop bet. bet. Yeah, you could actually do you that. Bet that. You could actually I do that. that. There are prop bets that are out there. Play the score the first TD out of halftime. Um, okay. Mm. I'm I'm going. That's when I got Lynch scoring. I got Lynch scoring there. Lynch will be the first one. I got 17-14. They got 21 right there. 21-17. Marshawn Lynch is my pick there. I got Lynch. Dugan? Okay. I'm going Jermaine Curse. Ooh, nice. I'm going Gronk. You going Gronk? Yes. Okay. I'm going Gronk. I'm going go to go with my guy Luke Wilson. Okay. okay. I'm going Luke Wilson. All right. All right. So now we're coming out of half now. We're scoring right away. We both got over. Sounds like we got an awesome game. We, we think are coming. Very high scoring. Very entertaining for NFL fans, which is great. And uh, let's click on uh, more prop bets now. Let's go to the New England side with wide receivers. Uh, Dugan, what do you got for LaFell in this game? Who? Uh, you know what? Never, never mind LaFell. Who's your top reception guy Edelman. for New England? Edelman. I think he's going to do really well against Sherman. Really? I do. 7 for 85 I got. 7 for 85. They got him at over under 6 minus 140 right now. That's a good that's a that's a good prediction, dude. Like that's it. a really good six prediction. I'm going to uh, Ben, who you got? I'm going Adam as well. I'm going I think Adam is going to have a, a good game from the from the, the New England side. Mm. I think he's going to have eight catches for eight, 83 yards just about. Okay. Um I got Gronk. I, like I said, I think he's going to have a superhuman game. I got him I got him eight catches. I'm going to put him on Buck 35 yards too. I'm gonna put him high. I'm gonna a wow. monster game. A monster wow. game. He might you know, be the MVP then. With you, that I, game. I, I, yeah. No, because they'll still give it a quarterback. I took Ronnie Harrison when he played the Eagles. He caught two picks. He still didn't even get the MVP. So I'm not even gonna go from there. But um, the the thing is with Gronk is I just think of Steven Steele sitting there. You know, Steven, we had the show and he said Seattle they can't guard a tight end. And I ripped this guy that Seattle was gonna kick the Cowboys' butt. Ripped him for. 30 minutes. I'm so sorry, Steve, when you're home. And the Cowboys came out and they won. And it was Witten and it was, it was Murray. It was everyone. So I just think Gronk, I think Gronk is a beast. I don't think they have the weapons on defense to stop this guy. I, I really don't. I'm going Gronk huge. Um, Ryan, who's your guy? Who's your wide, guy with the wide receivers most catches? I'm going with Gronk, but I think we're going to see a little bit of the San Antonio Spurs uh, element here. I think it's going to be spreading the ball a lot. Ooh, I think okay. he's going to get some Vereen in there. Gronk, Edelman, Amendola. Uh, I think it's going to be 
collective effort. I don't really see any one person getting. You give me a number with Gronk. You give me a number with Gronk if he's your uh, leader. I see Gronk getting. He's at six and a half. Six, I see him getting six catches. Okay. Ninety-two yards. Nice. Oh, so you got a, you got a long one. Yeah, and I like that. A little San Antonio Spurs reference. You know, you know, we know we love the Spurs on the show. Yeah. You know, we're big Spurs guys. And um, what about the, uh, yardage? I mean, you could have, you know, Gronk. I have Gronk getting both reception and yards. Who's your yardage guy? Who's gonna have the most receiving yards? Then from the Patriots side. From the Patriots. Yeah. Side, most receiving yards. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go with uh. I'm going to have to go with Gronk. Okay. Receiving yards, Gronk, yes. I'm going to go Gronk. Gronk? Yes. You give us a number? Um, it might be, it has to be the tallest. 100, so 105. 105. 105. I'm still with Allen, man. I have him at 85. <laughs> I think he's going to be the top guy. Julian. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I really don't think anyone 92. from the Patriots is going to go over 85. Wow, okay. 92. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I think it's going to be, yeah. everyone's going to be chipping in. Yeah. But I do think, well, I, I think Gronk might get to, get to 92. Okay, okay. Um... All right, we'll go to the defensive side of the ball, as we usually do. Um, Ryan, I'm going to give you Patrick Chung. Tackles and assists. He's over a six and a half. Over under. Hmm. Patrick Chung. I got, I'm got. i going to take the under on that. Okay. I'm going to take the under on that. I just think... Uh, yeah, you know, he, do, he doesn't have to. I don't think the, where he is on the field is, is yeah. going to be as heavily... You know. Dugan, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Thanks. Dugan, you know who I'm giving you. You didn't have to ask. Yeah. Give me I'm giving you Jamie Collins. Jamie, Jamie. I Jamie Collins <laughs> over in there because oh, I got to hear Jamie Collins is amazing every week. <laughs> he every is amazing. Week. I know. Yes, over yes. in the head. Um, I'm actually going to go under this game. Whoa. I'm going to go under. Because You're the reason the why ship. Jamie Collins is so good is because he guards a running back and he gets a lot of tackles mm. from the running back. Marshall Lynch is not going to come out of the backfield that much. Mm. So I think Jamie Collins is going to play more of a QB spy in this game. And I don't think Mar- – um, Russell Wilson's going to run that much. They're going to try, like I said earlier, try to keep him in the pocket. So I got him going under. All right. Vinny, I will take the you question. And I got Vince Wilfork over two and a half tackles. I'm going under. I don't think he can catch Russell Wilson. I don't think he's going to tackle Marshawn Lynch. I think he's going under two and a half. Um, So I'm going to go Revis. Will he get an interception? Yes or no? A yes is plus 305. So if you put $50 on him, you're winning a buck 60. Gonna say yes, yes or no? I'm gonna say yes. So you're going I yes. Know. I think him. I think him and Sherman both nice. get one. Really? I think him and Sherman both. Get I like that. I do. What about it's Browner? Really? What was it's Browner too. for the pick? Browner. I don't have Browner here. I have Revis. I don't have. I have Collins and Revis. I don't have Browner. No Browner. Collins is plus four thirty. What do you have, Nikovich? It just tells you Browner's getting. Nikovich is four and a half tackles and assists. Okay. No pick. Four and a half tackles and assists. Um, he'll be in. He'll be in the ballpark. Yeah, he might I be four tackles. Four, yeah, yeah, the head, yeah. I think he'll get four that, and a half. Yeah. That might be the one where you have to check five different websites and hopefully the one you went. Make sure you use NFL.com. Yeah, NFL.com. Yes, everybody use NFL.com. That's what they go with, especially if you're running a pool at home. This is a fun pool to do. Go to NFL.com. It's yeah. it's the legit one. It's what Vegas uses and everything. Definitely do NFL.com. So let's let's go back into the fun props space. Let's talk about uh, Bill Belichick's hoodie. <laughs> is it going to be gray? Is it going to be blue? Is it going to be red? That's so unbelievable. Uh, I'm going to go blue. I'm going blue. I think gray is the favorite. I'm going blue. I'm with you now. I'm going to say blue as well. I was going to say gray, but gray is the favorite, so I'm going to take blue. Okay. I am. Dukes? What color are the Patriots wearing this year? Do you know I, what? Are they wearing the white? Because no if they wear white, I'm going to wear gray. I'm oh. going gray. I, so it has to do with you think what still the players are wearing. Mm-hmm. You think it's a match, okay. match guy like that. Right. What are you taking? I'm matching. I'm going blue hoodie, blue Gatorade. Ooh, blue oh, hoodie, wow, blue okay. Gatorade. He's going blue. You're my boy, blue. <laughs> my boy. And I also saw a wild prop. Will Bill Belichick smile during the game? It has to happen. <laughs> it has to happen. Yeah, I swear to God. It has to happen after kickoff and before the whistle blows. So what they're saying is if the Pats have it locked in the bag, and they throw the Gatorade on him during the game, he's going to smile. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. if it doesn't, they lose. He doesn't smile. Sure. And it's 115-115. <laughs> so I have New England winning. I'm, I'm saying he's going to smile. I, <laughs> I I got a romp. I got a nine-point game by New England. I got smiling, man. Bill's going to be smiling. Ben? I'm saying no. I don't think he's going to be smiling. <laughs> I don't think so. He can smile off a bad call. He smiles. He yeah. can, it doesn't even have to be winning. But he doesn't smile, though. Come on. Okay. We all know this. I'm <laughs> going to smile with you, now. I told you, Brandon Brown is getting a pick at the end. And that's when he's going to get the Gatorade tossed on him. If that and happens, he's he gonna might smile. smile. <laughs> he's going to smile. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
I can see him smiling. I can see him smiling. Maybe the camera might not get it, but I can see him smiling. They have to get it. They have to get it. Uh, Another fun prop bet that we have to talk about. Over, under, three mentions about the flake gate by the announce team. Over, under. Over. 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 I think it might be three in the first sentence of yeah. Yeah. when they come in. Once, they, yeah, once they start to... <laughs> right? yeah, exactly. when, when, are we, when does it begin? It has to be during the game. During it can't be at halftime. It has to be during the game. I think yeah. the NFL is annoyed enough that it's taken away from, from yeah. know, the hype and discussion of the Super Bowl, and I think they'll try to stay away from it. Um, I, f- I hope it goes under. I'm going to root for under, oh, but I'm oh, going so. over. I, re- I really hope they bring yeah. it up once and that's it, but yeah. it's, it's not going to happen. happen. Yeah. It's Especially in a game where you think two defenses, a lot of scoring, there might be a lot of dead time and challenges and stuff and flags. I, I, I just, I really think so. I really think so. So, guys, any other thoughts before we wrap up our first last edition prop. Of Super Bowl show? One last prop I see. Okay. Will Bill Belichick have cut sleeves or long sleeves? Ah, oh, oh, good one. God. Cut sleeves. Cut sleeves. I go cut sleeves too. So do well, we... we Oh, sorry. I'm going to go cut sleeves. Cut sleeves? In the dome. Yeah. Right? Uh, what's the weather going to be like? It's Arizona. <laughs> it's Arizona. It's always hot. Yeah. I guess I'll go Desert. cut. I guess I'll go cut. You're right. You go cut. You go cut. All right. So we're all on cut? I'm going to laugh when he doesn't wear a hoodie. I'm going to laugh like he wears a t-shirt. I'm going to laugh with a t-shirt. Dude, you got any props? I think we left left oh, on no, the table I, I'm tonight? pretty sure we covered it. We covered a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we covered, I mean, 90 minutes going one topic. Did we actually cover the lynch? Did we, we did the lynch. Grab. We did wide receivers. We did defensive players. We did... TDs by the quarterbacks with the passing yards. There's crazy props with soccer and NHL. I saw Crosby, a veteran yeah, goal versus Russell Wilson TDs. If Monk was here tonight, we definitely would have made fun of him with that kind of stuff, but he was not. Um, yeah, I, I just think we're in for a great game. I think yeah, we're for, I think yeah. Dilfer, uh, I mean, if Dilfer's theory comes true, I, I got a, a two-possession game, but he said fourth quarter, it's all going to come down to the fourth. I think you're going to see rapid scoring second quarter all the way through. I think fourth quarter will be born, okay. and second quarter on, it's going to go nuts. Uh, let's take guys before we wrap up. Ben? That's really it. Just let's go Seahawks. Let's go Seahawks. One thing I want to say, uh, when I was looking up some of the odds, I seen a stat where Vegas Sportsbooks has only lost money twice in the last 24 years. So that's the only Holy thing that crap. scared me about the Patriots that <laughs> Seattle went Screwed from Vaughan. the favorite at, from uh, to the underdog, and that means everyone's on the but Patriots, right? I heard a I heard a stat yeah, last true. year that ninety nine percent of the bets taken in America, ninety nine percent of them were outside of a Las Vegas casino on Super Bowl Sunday. That's not that, that means one percent was in Las Vegas. Well, well, I, here. I will say one thing about the Seahawks. Um, no, they've never in Russell Wilson's career been out of a game. Yeah, no matter what they've. They've never lost by more than a possession ever. Well, it's insane. We're gonna so. we're gonna enjoy Sunday. Yeah, we're gonna we talk about legacies if they were tarnished or they were stepped up afterwards. Yeah. Brady, Belichick, Wilson, P. Cal, Legion yes. of Boom, The Flake Gate. Here we go. Super Bowl Sunday. Everybody have a great time. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe. Gamble smart. Win a lot of money. And we'll see you back next Wednesday recapping the Super Bowl. Oh, guys. It's been a pleasure since NFL Draft to here. See you guys later. Enjoy. Later, guys.